we're talking about breakups. 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 Oh wait, I wasn't ready because I was like really smiling. Oh. <laughs> Breaking up is like giving away a stuffed animal you haven't looked at in 20 years. Like you don't need it anymore. But you still feel a little sad to watch it go. <laughs> it's sad, but sometimes it'll be like, oh, I'm sad for three months. Other times it's like, okay, I'm sad for a day and then I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Depends. I always buy myself something really nice, like a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Should we jump in? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Woo! When did you have your first serious relationship? I didn't really have my first serious relationship until I was, I think, 19. My first relationship was when I was 19 and it lasted around five years. My first serious relationship lasted too long. I think my first serious one was when I was 20. My first serious one was also in college when I was 20. Freddie and I have the same we, love, like life love life record. <laughs> Do you ever really get over your first love? I think that's a misleading question because I think oh. that there are <laughs> different types of love. Your first love is super potent and it's something that sticks with you, but then as you grow older, you have different kinds of love and you fall in love differently. What your first love means to you just kind of like changes in your head. Even all the memories, like I remember I would look back and be like, oh my God, like graduation, we were sitting next to each other and stuff and like now all these memories are tainted, but they just kind of become different. I think you can get over it just as long as you give yourself time and allow those memories to kind of like take on whatever shape they're in supposed to. It did take me a bit to like get over him, but I look back at it, it was fun times, fond memories. It's great, you know, we're both living our lives. Definitely over it though. All of my first loves are in this order. Gay, 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 <laughs> gay. Do you have any advice for people who are scared to start a new relationship after a rough breakup? Okay, so over the course of your life, there's gonna be a lot of painful things that happen, and it's sort of like up to you personally to decide whether it's worth the risk. Take it slow. Go to Chuck E. Cheese. Whoa, two <laughs> drastically different pieces of advice. Making mistakes and messing up is a lot of finding the person that you're meant to be with. And if you don't do that work, you're gonna regret not doing the work later. First, give yourself time to heal because you'll try not to bring in negativity from your old relationship into a new one. If it's something that scares you, like is anxiety inducing, like talk to someone, work through that. But if it's something that's just kind of like, oh, I don't about this and like just go for it just start it because you gotta start somewhere you know think of it this way too when I was in college and I was sad about a girl I just had this thought where I was like well two a year and a half ago I was sad about a different girl so then I just sort of think of it as like who am I gonna be sad about in two years <laughs> <laughs> how do you deal with your ex-partner moving on to someone else if it still stings don't look at their shit because it's just self-sabotaging but if you want to look at their shit get your friends together have a shit viewing party and just make fun of them. Crack open some bubbly or like open a chocolate cake. And just unload the cake all over your, your face. Into your face. <laughs> if you can remove them from your online life, like I think that's actually still one of the healthiest things you can do. And if you have to hang out with them because you're in high school or college, they eat like a good meal. <laughs> you can avoid hanging out with them, avoid it, and like try and lean on your other friends until you feel better. But if you have to hang out with them, like make sure you're always like well fed and like just like moisturized. When you go. <laughs> I don't think it's fair to like actively avoid going to functions or parties to avoid seeing your ex with someone new. But yes, just go in there like a boss. Like show up, feel good, hair done, moisture, good meal. <laughs> and I think that that really does just solve all issues. What's your favorite thing to do after a breakup? Working out so hard it hurts, and like just being a sweat puddle and eating so much food that I feel sick. Saying yes to everything was like my motto mm -hmm. because it really helps you to not like stay in the house. You're hanging out with people who you may not have hung out with before or like in a long time. Mm -hmm. So I think it's good. Also, 90 minutes high massages. I cut off all my hair and then got a paid internship. Like, you just that rose was, out of the ashes. Yeah, yeah was that was like, a glow up. Yeah. yeah. Filling my life with like different activities, it doesn't mean I miss them less but it means I just have less time to miss them. I would say do all the shit that they didn't want to do with you. Watch all the movies, oh, yeah. all the TV shows, eat all the food, go to all the restaurants. Adopt a cat if do, you didn't like cats. Yeah, do, do it. Do, basically, it's a free pass to start doing all the stuff that they were like, no, I don't want to. What is your breakup comfort food? Ooh, fried chicken. Sampler taco platter. <laughs> so just a bunch of tacos with like different meats. I prefer savory. Yeah, we I all prefer, prefer savory. savory. Yeah, I think my, my go-to food just in life, so might as well be my go-to food during a breakup, is pad thai. 
mm. or just Thai food in general. Yeah. I feel like I comfort you even when I'm happy in a relationship. <laughs> I'm just like, I need a comfort food because I'm still alive. Really all iterations of the fried potato. The fried potato is great. The greater fried potato tri-state area is a great place to visit after a breakup. <laughs> Breakups can be hard. I remember my first like terrible breakup. Like I thought that I was I could never be happy again. Like I've never been that sad in my entire life. And now I'm super duper happy. So it's like, even if you think that you can't get through it, you can. A breakup is really just checking off a person that you weren't gonna marry anyway, and now you know better. Mm -hmm. Like think of it as dead, live your life, move forward. And then if it works out sometime in the future, cool. But if it doesn't, it's like, that's chill because it's dead. It was and, already dead, yeah. And you became who you were gonna be. French Fryville. Yes. Also, Tater Totland. Tater Totland. <laughs>